Lulu here. Today I want to show you how to do a cartoon unicorn. I want to do it in the style of Lichtenstein. So Roy Lichtenstein, he was a famous artist. He was known for doing this picture here, which is amazing. I saw it once in, I'm not sure if it's still there, in the Tate Gallery in London. So what he did was he did almost like Andy Warhol, a bit like pop art, but not. So he did um, lots of different sort of bold pictures that were almost like cartoon strips. And then he used this really awesome technique, which was almost like, if you can see this picture, look right into her face. They're all pixelated. <clears throat> They're all pixelated. So you've got dots made up, a bit like a television screen in the old days. Um, so it's all dots made up of the face. So we're going to do something where the unicorn is just normally drawn and then we've got dots for a bit of decoration. So this one's one of his really cool pictures. And then we've got this one here, which is really, really simple. Doesn't really matter which way it goes, this one, does it? <laughs> but this one's really cool. It's just shapes and dots. If you can see the dots there. And then we've got this really fun one where you can't quite see but if you get super, 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 super near, all her body has got lots of dots on there to make up the whole picture. So we're going to do a Roy Lichtenstein inspired cartoon unicorn. So if you can write this down, it's Roy, R-O-Y, Lichtenstein, L-I-C-H-T-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. And he was American, so he was an American artist and he was born 1923 and he died 1997. So we're gonna do a really awesome, bold picture with the unicorn. Are you ready? So we need paper that's up portrait, so it's up high, and we want a pencil. So let's go. So what I want you to do is circle somewhere in your paper. So somewhere on your paper. So I would do it about there. So you don't want it this side, you want it this side. So it's the right, left, right hand side. I'm dyslexic, so I always get my left and rights confused. So it's your right hand side. <laughs> and then next to that one, you're going to do another circle. So think about circle inside of a circle, ultimately. So big circle. Then what you want to do is you want to do, we're going to rub some stuff out, but first we want to do this. We want to touch this bit here, just here, and you're going to go like that, and then touch this bit here that's like a cookie. You're going to go just, just about there, put a dot there, and you can do this. So now we're going to rub out, get your rubber. Oh no, <laughs> it's gone everywhere. We're going to rub out this line, and we want to rub out that line. So you're rubbing out two lines. Now, the other thing you want to rub out is all this, because this was just your guideline. So rub that line out, and you'll see where we go with this, because the unicorn, I love unicorns. They're amazing. I kind of believe in unicorns. Some people don't, but I do. So you've got your unicorn, right. All you need to do now is think about the horn of the unicorn. So just draw. Reminds me of an ice cream cone. So it's roughly there. And what I like doing is I kind of like to do it going round. If you can see what I'm doing because then it makes it look more real when you colour it in. Then you have the eye, but it's still a bit wet, so I don't want to go over it. Oh, it should be okay. Nostrils here, just about there. So you've got a cute little nostril and a little mouth. Now, think about here and here and here. They've got to be more rounded, which doesn't really matter because you're going to have hair there, but you want to make them more rounded, less pointy because it's pointy because we rubbed stuff out. So let's do a really fun cartoon eye. So we're gonna go shape like that. 
nice and big. Think about if it's a cartoon, it needs to be quite large. Then we're gonna go, so join it up. What I'd like to do is put some really nice, I'm gonna go like that, a little flicky bit at the end and do that. Cause it just makes it look quite cool. It makes it look quite magical. And then we're gonna do some really fun cartoon eye. So if you want, if you already do certain eyes a certain way or you want to do your own eyes, you just do it like that. But for now, I'm just going to do this. Then we want to just go, I want to do the ear. So it's going to be probably about there. And you're going to go, so you're going to get a rubber now. So do the ear and I'm just going to grab a rubber. And we're going to rub out these lines. rub out the lines then let's start here because here's still a bit wet but what we want to do is just do a line here and it's just to connect the hair so it's behind the ear and behind the horn and what I do is I draw it pick my pencil up still do the line put it back down and then do that so it's like a rainbow but you don't go into the ear if you can't do it just draw over the ear and rub it out once you've done it then you're going to go, no. so just think long line, you're going around this cookie shape and you're going to go up and you're going to attach it to that ear. So this is all the hair. Now what you want to do with this is rub out. So get your rubber and rub this line out because we don't need this anymore because we've got the basic shape of a head you know so that is a piece of hair that we're rubbing out and if it's dry on the other side we're gonna touch the other side of the ear and you want to go down and then flick so like and then you're gonna go back then you're gonna go another one and then twirl it. Now whatever's in this hair, we're gonna rub out. So we no longer need this bit. Just gotta try and remember which bit we need and which bit we don't. Yeah, it's just that bit there. <laughs> you could put as much hair as you like, you can make it curly. It's quite nice to maybe do a little bit there. Doesn't matter, as long as you do it how you want. I could just do a little bit there maybe. Okay, then, then, Kind of like the idea of going round. Just do another one there. So it's really fun to have the curly bits. Kind of makes it look really magical. Then what I want to do is just touch just about here. Pause the video if I'm going super fast. I'll try not to. I always go fast. Ah! I might just colour this black while you're doing the other bits. Just so we know that's the eye. And the nose. The nose always black there. So touch about there, and you're gonna go down and up again. It's like you're framing his or her face. And then just here, oh, and you don't do anything else. You could maybe do some curly bits or some twirly bits there. It's up to you how you want to do it. Quite like to maybe do that, it's quite nice. So just add some more hair where you want to. And just here, we're just gonna go, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my own, oh, do you know what? I like the idea of that. I'm gonna create my own, it's kind of like some hair there. I'm gonna create my own like background here. I'm just thinking it really doesn't look right, does it? But all oh, this is hair, if you can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create whatever I want. So if you like hearts, you could do loads of hearts. I just love daisies, like I just find them really fun. I've always liked them as a child. So I'm just covering the whole thing with daisies. These are kind of different type of daisies. <laughs> They're not really daisies, these ones. 
could do a rainbow for sure. You could do like a great big rainbow. But this is quite, you can change this however you want. So if you want to, you could have more hair there and then here. Quite like it. I think when we colour it in, it'll look a bit more how you, you can envision it. More how you can envision it. Right, so now we're going to do, I want to do oil pastels, just because I love oil pastels. So what I want to do is I had a unicorn, um, My Little Pony, when I was younger, and it had a rainbow mane. So cool. It was called Windy. And it was just my favourite. I think I've still got it somewhere. So what I'm going to do is colour it in. I'm probably going to colour the whole thing actually. I was going to colour a little bit and then smudge, but it's hard to smudge. So I'm thinking purple. <clears throat> Purples and pinks. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. So this is the hair. So you take any colour you want and you can use oil pastel, chalk pastel, whatever you desire, it's fine. I'm just going to do this pink. So it doesn't have to be pink, you could do it blue, you could do it, you could do an awesome black and white unicorn. Try something different, you know. It's nice to do it how you want to do it um, and just, just, you know, have some fun with it. I really like, I like the idea of blue. Look at this awesome turquoise. You might not have a turquoise, so you could do a blue. Just a nice blue would be great. <laughs> Takes quite a lot of strength to do the oil pastel. Oh. Woo! Okay. And now, I do a little bit of a blue. Ooh, I like that. It's awesome. It's nice when you like something, isn't it? Sometimes I think, nah, I'm not so sure. I'm going to keep the unicorn white just because, I don't know, I quite like it like that. You could do it any colour. You could do it, um, I'm going to change this line, by the way, because the line was supposed to go like that. And I did it a different direction because I was looking at the flowers. Kind of looks more like a cartoony one now. Okay, so what other colour should I have, guys? I might get a red. Let's do a bit of a... No, I don't know. I like the blues, you know? Let's do a bit of a blue. So you could do anything with this. You could colour it in and then do a darker edge and then smudge it in. You know how you did the watercolour or the chalks? where you do a dark bit round and then smudge it in. But this is nice with chalk because you could just colour it in just around the edges and then smudge the rest. So it probably wouldn't take as long. But I'm going to take quite a while with this one, I think, just because it's nice to use something a bit different. I always tend to use chalk. I am loving the colours that I'm doing. Purple's lovely, isn't it? Purple's amazing. So you're going to do yours, I should imagine, a lot neater than this, but don't worry if, if it doesn't look that neat. I'm just going to do some edge. It's quite nice to make it. Can you see how a bit of dark mixing of there looks quite nice? Now, should we give him a cool blue eye? Let's give him a... A blue eye and as I say this unicorn can be any colour doesn't matter it's whatever you want it to be I'm gonna colour this black because it makes it stand out I love using black because it always makes everything stand out and it looks wicked do you know what do you know what let's do orange I want like a magical colour, almost like it's gold. So I'm going to colour this bit yellow. It always reminds me of an ice cream cone. 
Makes me quite hungry actually. So you can colour this any colour, remember? You do not have to follow my colours. I'm literally just doing any colour that feels nice. I like to go on feeling, you know, when you think, oh yeah, that feels good. So just do any colour you want. Now, the flowers. I might do chalk for the flowers because I like the idea of going over yellow like that and just smudging in. And I kind of want to keep it simple. I don't really want colourful flowers. I kind of want them to be, do you know what, I kind of want them to be quite fluorescent maybe. So I'm just going to, they're not even real flowers these. They're just made up. So I'm using chalk. But if you're using oil, you might have to colour the whole thing in. Can you see, like, that's what you could do for your unicorn hair. You don't have to actually colour the whole thing. Ah! <laughs> Smudged it a little bit. Where else? I'm trying to think what other colour I could do for a, a flower that's a slightly magical. Yeah, it's quite light, isn't it, that purple? I am going to do this purple. You could, of course, you could, of course, leave it white, but because my because my unicorn's white, I don't want to do too much white because otherwise it won't stand out. So I'm smudging it just a little bit. There we go. Right, so there's my unicorn picture, but, and obviously the flowers, I've done the, if I'm honest, the flowers I've kind of rushed and I haven't done very neat, but that doesn't matter because I wanted to focus on the unicorn. So what you might want to do now is I've got some watery paint and I've got these. They're earbuds. You may have them at home. If not, you could probably use the end of a pencil that you don't like. So don't use a pencil you do like because it's going to get a bit messy. So I'm going to dip it in the, the watery paint. It has to be quite watery, so you're going to have to mix water in it. And what I want to do is I'm going to make dots, but they have to be like super close together because I want it in the style of Lichtenstein. And you might find that it gets misshapen and you're going to have to swirl it around a bit to get a circle but you want close together Woo! not touching though oh i did it touching you could do this with any color you could literally do it multicolored, which would look really magical so what he was trying to do, Lichtenstein, was make, with the series of dots that he was doing, he wanted to make the picture a whole picture. So just by doing dots, it created the picture. So what I might do, he didn't just do the dots, but I like using that. And because I like, I like magical things, and I like to put dots sort of coming out. And you might have seen it on some of my pictures, but I love to have sort of dots flying out from places. So you don't have to do all of it uniform. Uniform means all in a line, really. But I'm not doing these in a line, am I? And I quite like that effect because if it was multicolored, it could be magic, you know, like magical bits coming out. I just love it. I love that feel of it. It takes a bit of time, but it's actually really fun to do. And if you, and look, I've still just used one end. You could use the other end when it gets a little bit messy, but I probably don't need to do that too much. But I really like that. You could literally go out like that. So have a go, have a go yourself. Let me know. You could even do the dots for the flowers and change colors. 
but the other thing I wanted to show you because I've got the black pen so for me it's fine but for you you might not be able to see your one so I'm gonna get a black pastel which is oil you could get probably a black pastel might be good or you could paint it but you want to just normally I would say go around you want to let this dry as well but normally I'd say go around because it's cartoon you want to go around the outline but normally I'd say I do it with a felt tip but you'll ruin the felt tip if you do it because it's chalk and oil pastel and this could be white uh, grey so normally I would use grey pastel to shade the unicorn but because it's a cartoon is a cartoon version I feel like I don't need to but you want to outline things is what I'm trying to say because otherwise you won't be able to sort of see everything there we go you see how it stands out a lot now and you don't need the flowers to stand out really at all I quite like the idea I'm gonna get a bit carried away but I like the idea of putting the dots there as well just so it becomes like one picture. Ooh, and you could take a different colour and just do dots coming out there. So have a bit of fun. Tell me how you get on. Show me your pictures and I can't wait to see your results. There's one tiny, you know when you think, I need to add a little bit more. So there's my Roy Lichtenstein inspired cartoon unicorn. Have fun with this everyone. And of course you can use this in anything. You could draw a hippo and do the dots for the background. So have fun and I'll see you all soon. Like, subscribe and share. Bye.